Hello, welcome back to the networking class. So let's start up with the OSI model. So we have OSI model that is open system interconnection model. So you can study the OSI reference model from internet by referring to some of the websites and then we'll just jump into IP addressing. So IP addressing is a style of addressing or giving a name or however we call it as a nickname to a host in one small network that is a local area network. So starting with we have IP addressing. The addressing style starts with um, 64 that is 32 bit addressing for IPv4 that is v4 is the version which has been defined so we have some notes which is written on the text that's a notepad here so we have IP addressing that the v4 ad addressing is a 32 bit addressing so how do you call it as a 32 bit addressing so it uh, it is 32 to the power of 2 okay where it gives us uh, uh, 4 million hosts and the number is here you can make a note of that here so we can connect up to 4 million hosts from IPv4 which implies that is applies for IPv4 version so 32 to the power of 2 which gives the number okay so that is the number of the computers we can assign an address that's great so how will you assign an address why is it called as 32 bit okay let us put it here so each bit which contains 8 see we have put in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 dot 8 dot 8 dot 8 so 8 into 4 that is equal to 32 bits so that's why we call this as the IP addressing as 32 bit addressing style okay so that's how we call it as 32 bit if you come to an uh, conclusion that we have addressing style which starts from uh, that is 32 bit addressing which starts from IPv4 and we have 88 bits which has been referred here and that is equal to 32 bits so and we have 4 uh, segregation which has been done for 8 bits and that is equal to 32 bits so each ID can be represented with uh, uh, with a name so we have something called as network ID and a host ID so if you take an example for an IP address like 198.168.1.1 so this can be this is this is an example how it can be represented how does an IP address look so let's just check it where do you look at where do you check in uh, Windows host let's go to network my network places go to view network connections and here if you just right click and just click on properties and you go to properties so it, it has an IP address or you can also find it through just type IP config so here you can see the IP address that is 192.168.1.2 is the IP address which has been assigned to our computer that's great so that's that's the style which we have bought here also so that's a 32-bit addressing so there is one more way of addressing since we have since the computer generation is expanding and we have expanded more than this so we have the latest version as IPv6 which is a 64-bit addressing where it can have uh, 64 bits of addressing okay so let's not scratch our head more about the IPv6 we are, let's let's learn about IPv4 so we have network ID and a host ID so whatever you consider here after the 168 this can be considered as the host ID and this can be considered as network ID so once again it depends on the way it has been defined okay so now comes the question in one network how many computers does do you have so the maximum number of computers which can be connected in one local area network is 
254. So how do you come come into that conclusion? So it's 254 computers. So we have to live the zero, okay, and one address. So how does it go? So let's remove this. It's 198.168.1 is the normal network. So now this the whole thing becomes a network ID and the last bit which we are speaking about will become the host ID because we in our network we have only 254 computers so let us take it starts from the range 1 so we will leave 1 for the default gateway usually the number 1's are assigned for default gateway we will speak about the number 1's and 0's later so we will leave 0 and 1 we will start addressing after that so it can be 2 so it can start from 198.168.1.2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 254. So it can hold 254, that is uh, 255 minus 2 hosts, that's 0 and 1, that's 253, almost equivalent uh, to 253. So it can, one network, a small network, a local area network can hold 253 hosts. So considering Mm, an IP address so this is the style we go ahead and assign the IP address so we'll just end this here and we'll continue in the next